and we're going to what I believe is the most Instagrammed club in the whole world. This is literally the biggest club in Asia. So it's probably my first time really in Singapore, which is going to be really exciting because there's a slide in the club. James Hyde. Yo, just landed in Jakarta, Indonesia. And tonight, we're going to literally the biggest club in Asia. Sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. Let's go, transition. I wasn't being dramatic. This is literally the biggest club in Asia. We Googled it. Google doesn't lie. So. We're here in the green room now, I'm about to go on. Rashan came to soundcheck earlier and he took some videos. I gotta show you how big this place is. It reminds me of Omnia in Vegas, but it's definitely bigger. It's massive, right? Yeah. yeah. It's got the moving ceiling thing as well. Moving ceiling. Yeah. Sick. Let's see how it goes. Um, first time in Indonesia since last year and honestly I've not spent much time here before so this is definitely the biggest place I've played in Indonesia, it's going to be fun, let's do it. exciting I've devised a new system for the debrief obviously if you've watched moving differently for a while then you know after every show we rate the show out of 10 but I've got a new way we're gonna rate the show out of a hundred and we're gonna score on four categories crowd sound visual and rider if you don't know what the rider is that is our list of things that we need for the show on the rider we have specific drinks. We have a jersey, we have towels, we have little bits of food, and we have batteries, and a couple of little things that we need to make sure that the show goes smoothly if we just got off a long flight or whatever. So, to kick it off, my score for tonight, crowd, I'm gonna go seven. There were some great people at the front, but then there were a lot of like, people who didn't seem fully in the music, like towards the back, so. The front people prop that up. I'm gonna go for sound. I'm gonna say six. I feel like the monitors could have been louder. There was a bit of a delay on the main system, but if the monitors were louder, it would have been right. So seven plus six. And then for visual, I'm gonna do six as well. The club looks amazing, but the lighting and visuals, they weren't very well in sync with my music, so it could have been a bit better. And for rider, we got the jersey, I got the sparkling water, I got towels, but they were mini towels. They didn't really have much else on the rider. I say, I'd say seven, I've seen worse. So, out of 100, 65. <laughs> Paid. All right, I'm not gonna do this on the spot, so I actually wrote down my ratings before whilst you were doing yours. Crowd, six. Um, there was a lot of people that were distracted easily by little things. <laughs> like, you should have been focused, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know. Teacher. But anyways, but the high fam at the front, they are sick. Yeah, the banners they had so, were bro, fucking mad. There was like three guys with 12 <laughs> banners or something. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> It was like each part of the show, they whip out a new one. Yay! <laughs> um, sound, I'd say a five. It was quite quiet in the crowd because I was in the back of the room for the most of the show, getting a different angle. Um, and there was a bit of a delay, I'll be real. Visual, free. Everything was delayed, like mad. You and, mean like the, the lighting and stuff? Yeah. yeah. And um, there was no, it wasn't like uniform. It was just like 
oh, we'll have a bit of this and a bit of that. Like, there wasn't, like, structure. But anyways, Rider 5. And this is because I saw what looked like chicken that's been left out for about a good old day or two. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, that was it. Like, T-shirt came, just about um, 47.5 out of 100. Rash. I'm the worst person for this one. Um, crowd, five. Height found to the right hand side. Loved it. Sound, one. <laughs> Visual and lighting, one. I need to explain that one. If I tell you to take down the visuals that look, how can I say, demonic, don't change it for sperm. <laughs> so what? There, there was a visual of sperm on the Floating screen behind sperm me. Sperm on the screen. Okay. Yeah. So um, that's a no no. Rider. <laughs> oh boy, Rider. Um, try to tackle that for two days. Forty eight hours of trying to tackle the Rider. So um, I'm giving you a one again. Twenty out of hundred. Lucky. Because it would have been a zero. All right, we'll get faster at this new system, I promise you. <laughs> It'll be worth it. Um, in the morning, we're going somewhere kind of exciting. So we're staying in Indonesia and we're flying to Bali. And we're going to what I believe is the most Instagrammed club in the whole world. It's called Savaya. And I ain't even going to show you any more like... We'll take you there tomorrow, but it looks fucking crazy. So we've got to get up early. So let's go to bed. Transition. Yo, we're in Bali, Indonesia. Um, we got a police escort taking us through the traffic. Basically, we got like a 30 minute drive to the hotel. Um, policeman's warning us about a puddle. Thank you for your service. And then Tita Lau's playing today as well. So once we get to the hotel, she's got to go like straight to the, straight to the club. And then we go like one hour later. And yeah, this club is like, it just looks crazy. Um, very like picturesque. So once we get there, I'll try and let you have a little look around it, right? Transition. You're in a travel sequence, bro. Huh? You're in a travel sequence. Transition. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I, I don't know where he's going. I'm hanging out in Wallace's room right now. We just got to Bali. This hotel's pretty sick. So Rashawn got here before we did, and he went to a sound check at this venue, which I keep telling you about how amazing it is, but I haven't actually shown it yet. I'm just going to show you through some of these videos that he sent right now. Right, so I've flown early to come and do sound check uh, before James gets here because the club opens at three, so there was no way we were going to get here. So we are in Bali right now. I'm about to do a sound check. Um, yeah, let's go. Tita's playing before me tonight, so she's gone down to the venue now and she's going to play for two hours and then me and Wallace are going to go at eight o'clock and I'm playing from 9.30, I think, something like that, for two hours. The venue looks amazing. It looks like it reminds me of Space Miami a little bit, but on a beach. So <laughs> fucking lit. I'm just getting some music ready because these guys love fucking really cool DJs. So I'm like, okay, I feel like it's the type of place where I'm going to play more underground music because for the past couple of shows in Asia, it's been more mainstream kind of shows, you know? I got this really cool remix of this classic tune that I've been waiting for an opportunity to drop. Be 
That's kind of the vibe I'm going with. I got this ID from Clooney as well, which is really, really cool. B, 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 bang that shit, motherfucker. That's enough. And I'm just gonna see where the vibe takes me tonight because as I say, I'm playing for two hours, but it says that I can carry on playing if I want to. So maybe I will. Let's do this. James, hey, what's up, man? Good to see you, my man. Good to see you. Welcome. Yo, this is not beach club weather. The glasses are steaming up. <laughs> wow. Do the people mind if it rains? No, they don't they care. Get, once, once they get wet, mate. Uh, yeah, they're good. I see a lot of umbrellas. It looks sick. It's so good. Debrief. All I'm saying is we've got no police escort right now. This is terrifying. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, wow, what a show. Let's start the debrief. Sound, I give it a nine. I would have given it a 10, but I had a few issues with the decks. One of them needed restarting and one of them, when I hit master, it changed onto wide tempo at one point and totally fucked up my mix. Uh, so that's a nine, could have been a 10. Visual, nine. It's such a sick venue. Um, I would have liked it if there was like CO2 or something. Maybe I'm just being a bit extra. Um, crowd. I'm gonna give them a 10, because it was raining and they were fucking great. Like, I, was, I wasn't sure if anyone was even gonna be there, because it was raining and it's totally outdoor, there's no cover. And Ryder, ooh, oh, they lose some points here. Sorry, well, guys. Can I add something? Yeah. We did get batteries. Eight. Ryder, you get an eight. I didn't get a jersey. I didn't remember seeing any champagne. Yes, there was. There, oh, there was? There was. There was two bottles. Okay. Um, I didn't get any protein bars. I'm fucking starving. Yeah, they get an eight for Ryder. Nine, nine, ten, eight. 90? Oof. You get a 90? Wow, Jeez. that was good. Rash? Right. I'll start with the rider first. I have to give them a 9 for the rider. I know they didn't have your jersey and they didn't have your um, protein bars, but um, when it came to the bottles, the batteries, the way they gave me the batteries, I was like, ah, OK. 
okay. So yeah. Um, the crowd, 10. Uh, there was people, I was there from early doing sound check. There was people that were there from 2.30 and still skanking. So you get that 10. Hold that 10 crowd. Okay, visuals, I have to give it a nine. The reason I'm giving it a nine, because you guys never saw, but they had visuals on the back wall of the building. Oh, sick. So it looked wavy, like absolutely wavy. I already saw it because I had to go do um, another sound check, just in case equipment broke. Sound, sound, oh, I thought it was sick, 10. I thought it was, I know we had the issue, but I thought it was, that was sick. So what was that, 10, 10? 95. Yeah, Oof. there we go. Crowd, 10. Sound nine because I would have liked to have gone louder. I turned the booth up to as loud as it went. It was pretty loud, but if that was something I could have, I'd have that. Visuals I could only see what I was seeing in the like little bit. Um, I'm gonna give it, I loved what I saw, so I'm gonna give that a nine. However, I'm quite short, so the decks came up quite tall, so you could probably see like this much of me and I didn't have my big boots on today I've just got my uh, socks and sandals Woo! Rider Rider 10 I had everything that I needed and they gave me a prawn lobster roll as well so what's that 95 first show back of 2024 I loved it it's via Bali love you hey Bali Bali <laughs> <Barley. laughs> sound I'm going to have to give it an 8. It was really loud, but there was a bit crush noise on one of the decks. Oh, yeah. Throughout quite a lot of it. So, yeah. Visual, I'll give it a 10. I felt, like, lost, but in a good way. Like, <laughs> I forgot that we was in Bali. I just thought we was in, like, a really cool island because everything was so dark, but then the lighting was sick. But the haze was really really fucking like too much crowd i have to give the crowd a nine it would have been a 10 because you know they stayed through the rain and everything but some people need deodorant it's cheap one pound one euro one dollar rider give the rider a nine no jersey but the batteries were there drinks were there and my total score is 90 out of 100 boom well, 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 well. In the morning, we are going to Singapore. I've Woo! never, Jeez. I've only ever, who said G you? I said cheese. Yeah. Um, I've only ever been to Singapore to the airport and then we just got on another flight and went somewhere else. So it's probably my first time really in Singapore, which is going to be really exciting because it's a place that I've always seen and thought looked amazing. Uh, we're playing at Marquee, which believe it or not, has a Ferris wheel inside the club. Now, you might not see me in the morning because Rashawn and the guys are going on an early flight. Me and Tita are going on a later flight. So Wallace is going to take you through and show you everything that Sabian gets up to in the airport. Bro, we'll see. I, I did not know this was happening. Yeah, but you always get up to things in the airport. No, I thought it was all on the same flight. See, see you in Singapore, transition. <laughs> We're in the airport. I can't speak in French, bro. <laughs> no sleep, gang. <laughs> um, James and T are on their way now to get their later flight. And um, how's everyone feeling? I feel tired. <clears throat> Rash? What did you just say? He said he feels tired. Rashan's been up for like two days. Um, <laughs> I brush my teeth with the tap water in Bali and I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, this guy, uh, he asked for some Imodium in the morning. <laughs> Baited. All right, travel sequence. <laughs> travel sequence interrupted. Um, because Rash has not slept for the past few days, I've given him my seat with the promise of uh, he can have it as long as he films the takeoff and landing for the travel sequence. And uh, this is the situation. not even taken off yet, so it's going to be a Wallace and Paid travel sequence. It's fucking hot. It's very hot. Yo, 
we made it to Singapore, first time here, and I didn't realize what we're staying at the iconic Marina Bay Sands, which is the famous building. It's like three buildings with a big thing on top. Right now we're on the big thing on top, and that's trippy as hell. Um, so yeah, there's people like trying to walk past there, but I think the club is inside this building, which is why we're staying here. Or if it's not, then it's right outside. Um, how was your guys' flight? Cool. Yeah, easy. This place is insane. Transition. Check this out. Why does it feel like we're inside a boat? It's really weird, but it's an amazing hotel. Can you see the container ships? And there's like helicopters hovering. Well, there's, the sun's gone down now, but there were like five helicopters just hovering around. I don't know if it's security or something. It was crazy. Um, so yeah, this is Marina Bay Sands. It's pretty cool. Let's go back inside. This really impressed me. High resolution screen. I like. Anyway. Um, did, has Rash gone to sound check yet? Yeah, he should be there now. Okay, hopefully he'll send us some videos. Let's do this. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh my days. <sighs> yes, welcome to the best sound check I'm about to do. We are in Marquee in Singapore. There's a slide in the club. Whew. Let's go. Yeah, so just checked all the visuals, checked all the sounds. Marquee Singapore, looking sick. Oh, I've got to show you this. I've got, I've, look at this. There's a Ferris wheel in the nightclub. This, this is crazy. Right, Rash has done sound check. We are in what I think is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in a nightclub. Ferris wheel. In a nightclub. What the fuck? And I don't know if you can see it, but down there... Oh my God, this camera is really weird. We just met these hype fam. Sorry, I'm getting used to your camera. Um, we just met this light farm and they're now watching moving differently in a nightclub, which I think is the first. <laughs> Next to the Ferris wheel. We also feel like the worst people in the world because we pushed in front of the whole line. Hey, the, he said 30 minutes wait. Bro, I keep trying to turn this around. Anyway, we're gonna get out the Ferris wheel. T is on first, then James. Yeah. And Rashan's dancing on stage, transition. All right, we're going to the club. So I wanted to show you something, but um, I totally forgot. I just went to the gym, right? And the gym, to get there, you have to walk past the club. And the disguise I had on was fucking incredible. Um, it's like 30 degrees Celsius here, but I had a beanie hat and I had it pulled down like to here. So you can't see any of my hair. And I was just wearing like the most random outfit. No one looked at me whatsoever. And I walked straight past the entrance to the club. Anyway, I finished in the gym. We're on our way to the club. Marquee Singapore. First time here, looks cool, let's go.
I'm about to sign the ceiling, but I don't want to stand on the chair, so they're going to bring the ceiling to me. <laughs> wow. Yes! Thank you very much. Is this, wow, it's heavy. <laughs> She's got a few catchphrases we've got to put on her first. Who does this? Don't forget, no sleep gang. Zero out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, man. Yes! That'll do. This is taking way too long. No, I Yes! Woo! Oh, no. Should we do a debrief? Yes! Debrief! Okay. <laughs> Crowd, ten. Woo! Oof. Sound, Nine. I wanted the monitors to go louder. Whoa. Visual. What do you think? He's got his own rating. I know, but I couldn't see the. <laughs> I'm looking at this video here, and the I screen was, behind man. me looks crazy. Yeah, it's my, what I'm saying. From I think. Crowd point of view. It was sick, sick. I was watching it in a reflection. I'm gonna say visual ten because the club's wild. Like, Jeez. it's got slides in it. For fuck's sake, is that? I don't know if that's a visual thing, but it's got slides in it. Slides, rider. Oh, you get points for the food. But where's the jersey? No. Why am I wearing an Orlando jersey in Singapore? Uh -oh. <laughs> Eight. Oh. Ninety-two point five out of hundred. Woo. It's pretty fucking good. Rush. Crowds. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd ten. Ten. Uh, Ryder, I think the only thing, yeah, it has to be the jersey situation. <laughs> so, I'll give you a nine for that. I'll give you a nine because the food was amazing. Uh, visuals, 10, 100%. And then, uh, sound. sound, oh, sorry, eight. It wasn't, it wasn't that great, the sound. Could be better. Oh, same, yep. 2.5. 92.5 out of 100. Sabi and paid. I was in the crowd for James's set, but I was in the booth for two sets, so I experienced everything. <laughs> Sound, nine. Could have been a bit louder, Ooh. but it was still sick. Visual, ten. There was so much going on in a positive way. The fucking Ferris wheel in the club, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Who does this? <laughs> like, if that ain't a ten, that And a banana. Is. And a fucking banana. <laughs> Huge. Crowd, 10. Energy unmatched from start to finish. Ryder, sorry mate, 9 because of the jersey. But you say 9 crossing. like it's a bad thing, and yeah. 9 out of 10 is not bad. I know, but it's not a 10. <laughs> but anyways, 95 out of 100. Tita! Crowd, wild, 10 out of 10. Sound, nine out of ten only because like everyone said i wish it could be louder i had it on the loudest and when i first um stepped up my master was on zero so i didn't know how loud i could go <laughs> so i just pushed it all the way up and it sounded mad so i had to turn it back down um visuals from what i could see from my perspective was amazing rider for me 10 I got food, I got my drink. I didn't request a jersey, so I'm all good with that. <laughs> so yeah, that is a 97.5, the highest score of the night. Thank you very much. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of a wild, wild episode of Moving Differently. Don't forget, Tiesto Remix of Drums is out right now. No Sleep Gang t-shirts have dropped. They might have already sold out. In fact, the best ones have sold out. <laughs> there are still, there are still, and this is coming out like a week from now. They're probably sold out. Who does this? Transition. Drums. Drums.